what's up everyone this is Asadullah Chaudhary and today I'm gonna talk about XSS attack I believe you already heard this term uh, XSS is an acronym which stands for cross-site scripting and cross-site scripting is a type of a website attack in which an attacker injects some malicious JavaScript code in your website uh, this is uh, normally happens when a website does not properly sanitize and validate the user inputs I already uh, today I already set up the PHP scripts for, script for you just to save the time so now uh, let's take a look at it uh, this is my very simple page it's my index.php file it is containing a text area so as soon as I'll type something over here and pressing this button that post will be displayed right here so currently there is no post I'm already using the MySQL database so this is my post table which is empty right now if I click structure my post table has uh, three columns the first one is ID the second one is post message and the third one is image URL okay so now let's go back to the text editor uh, this is uh, some simple mockup on my index page which is containing a simple form the form is uh, using the post method and the URL the URL where the form will be submitted is submit dash post dot PHP so let's take a look at the file okay so on submit post dot PHP on line number three you can see uh, I'm including a file which is inside a directory which has a name includes and the file name is DB dot PHP it's a database file I wrote the database script over here on line number five it's a database connect function so this function should be called in order to establish a connection with database on line number seven I'm calling an insert function just to insert the data so if you take a careful look over here these two arguments dollar underscore files and dollar underscore post this data is coming from my HTML form that I just showed you this one okay so uh, I'm directly passing this uh, files files array as well as a post array to this function insert and let's uh, take a look at db.php uh, this is my DB file which is uh, containing a class and uh, here's my insert function which is expecting two parameters the first parameter will be image and the second parameter will be post so if if the user does not up if the user doesn't upload any kind of image but he posts something some text these if else statements will generate a dynamic query depending upon the available data I mean user can either just upload the image and skip the post part or the user can miss the image and just leave the post so it all depends upon the user so as per as per this uh, user data the query will be dynamically generated so on line number 43 I'm just passing this query to a MySQL I query this function so this function will execute the query and the data will be inserted in my database so as uh, you can uh, you, ha you have noticed I'm not sanitizing or f validating the user inputs this is very dangerous so now I'm gonna show you if you are uh, using such kind of script and you are not properly sanitizing and validating the user inputs so what an XSS attack could do with your website okay so if I type something over here let's suppose hi there I'm doing programming right now if I press this button so here's my post okay so let's do something interesting let me type a script over here script it's a closing script tag and I'm gonna type let's suppose alert
you are hacked. Script, I misspelled that. I again misspelled that. Script. Okay, so let's see what happens if I press the post button. Post. You are hacked. This shouldn't supposed to happen on your website. If I press the OK button, here's an empty post. But if I go to my source page, view source page, let me zoom in just to show you. Okay. So if you take a careful look over here, here's the injected JavaScript code that I just injected. And currently it is executing on the page, on the post page. So if I go to the database and browse this table, so here's the script. The script has been inserted in, in the database as it is. Okay, now let's do something more interesting okay so this time let's remove this alert part the attacker can also do something like this it can he can modify your page content or change your styles for example he can do something like this document dot body dot style dot background equals to red or whatever color document dot body dot style dot background color so here I'm gonna change the body color body background color if I click the post so now you can see the body background color has also been changed if I refresh this alert box come out each with the each uh, page refresh and here's a here's a permanent change of background body color so this shouldn't supposed to happen furthermore the attacker can do something like this uh, let me change the color it's disturbing my eyes <laughs> let's go to database directly I'm gonna modify it over here refresh now it looks better okay so again if I uh, browse my page source if I refresh here's a code snippet the injected JavaScript code here's another code snippet and here's another one this was the first one alert box the attacker can do something even worse uh, let me show it to you he can redirect your website to somewhere else for example window dot location equals to some locations uh, for example https www dot google dot com it's even a worse case if I click the post button I have been redirected to this uh, Google page so now if I try to go back and refresh it uh, one more one more time I'm, I'm I'm unable to see my actual web page the script is uh, forcing me to navigate over here uh, I have to remove some part from here I think I should remove everything now the database if is empty localhost 
like image okay the attacker can also steal your cookies information for example he can do something like this alert document dot cookie Uh, before uh, posting this script, let's go back and let me show you something. If you note uh, line number two and line number three, I'm setting up two cookies. I'm creating two cookies. And the first cookie is containing an index name, which is a uh, username, and the value is Asad. And the second one is password, and the value is one to three. Uh, this is the expiry time for this cookie. And this is the location okay let's first uh, remove all the cookies I have to go to the options and then privacy R clear recent history I also have to remove this cookie remove so there is uh, no cookies right now over here I deleted all of my cookies okay so as soon as I click over here it says username Asad and the password is Asad so currently my script is reading the cookies related to this uh, project so if I go back and check it over here here's my two cookies the first one the first one has an index which uh, index which is a name a username and the content is Asad and another one which is password and the content is one two three so now let me show you how a user can steal your cookies information okay I have already set up this page as well it's other dash server dot php I'm assuming it's an external URL to some other server so now I'm gonna send my cookies to this page and this page will be displaying my cookie data okay so let's uh, write the script for this page document dot location I'm gonna append a query string and the location is gonna be HTTP localhost and the file name is other dash server dot php other dash server dot php question mark and let me check what index I'm expecting the index should be cookie let's give it a name cookie equals to plus I'm gonna concatenate my cookies over here dot cookie I'm gonna copy this code because uh, I don't wanna rewrite over and over okay so if I click this post button uh, nothing is happened I think I made a mistake somewhere HTTP localhost it's not document it's window dot location if I click this page so if you check here if you check in the URL you can see here's a key cookie 
which has a value username and username containing some value and another value which is uh, password and the data is the content is one to three the object not found other server dot php I made a mistake somewhere other server dot php uh, let's do it one more time I just want to show you how you can uh, display the cookie data on some other URL location other dash server dot php it should work let's remove everything cookie and if I go back cookie C-double-O-K-I-E the spellings are matched document dot cookie so let's try this uh, one more time if I click this post button hey you have successfully collected the following cookie and here's the cookie data username is Asad and password is something else so if this was another external server so this this data can also be saved in the into the data in database or the user can write this data on some file on some text file so this shouldn't supposed to happen if you have a website always remember you always have to filter the user sorry you always have to sanitize and validate the user input properly to avoid this kind of behavior so now let's uh, fix this uh, script first I have to empty my table token mismatch what's going on another DB uh, post let me remove everything from my table or yeah let's remove it okay now let's go back and validate the user inputs okay so submit dot post so here I'm gonna not on this page but on database would be better post and post equals to strip tags this function will remove all of the HTML and XML as well as the PHP tags in the script I'm gonna pass post to it and post has an index which is post dash message push post dash mess dash uh, dash message and I'm gonna copy this paste it over here so now let's try this I just made this uh, little change I'm gonna stripping the tags for now the HTML tags okay so if I go back and if I want to write some other script copy refresh no post to display and let's suppose if I want to write something like alert you are hacked 
I press this force button so you are hacked so this time the the script tags has been removed and this string is just an ordinary string it's not executable JavaScript code so let's go back and check the page source Uh, this is how it looks like there is no skip tag okay so let's do something else let's try to use H HTML special characters okay so this function will not remove the tags but all of the tags will be converted into HTML entities and a string will be saved in here so let's go back and check it out refresh paste and if I click this post button so you can see the difference so this time this whole uh, line of code has been converted into HTML entities so if I if, if we go back and check out in our page source so this is how our page source look like looks like this is ampersand L T this this is the entity which uh, we use for lesson sign so if you are developing a website where you need to display thus uh, where you need to display the HTML code as well as the other codes, so you can use HTML special ch characters special charts HTML special charge okay so there another uh, and there another way to avoid this attack that is uh, filter var the first parameter the first parameter should be the data that I want to filter and the second parameter is going to be a string it's not a string it's a con constant filter sanitize string what this will do it will remove all the special characters let me show you let me paste the code one more time if I click the post button so this is this does the same thing like strip tags I use the strip underscore tags uh, function that removed all the all the tags and now I used this filter underscore war function and this also removed the tags the special characters so this is how you can protect your uh, website from an XSS attack you can make it even better depending upon your requirement alright so this is it for now so I'll see you in the next lesson alright then take care bye bye